What is up everybody, Hoosier Pulse here today. Thank you so much for joining me on the channel. I cannot be any more excited because we are opening a whole retail box of 2022 Tops update. If you've seen any of my previous videos opening update, we have hit some awesome cards. Julio Rodriguez home field advantage, Spencer Torkelson gold, as well as a Wander Franco gold. So we are on a hot streak. We are going to see if we can continue it. So without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, everybody, let's get right into this 2022 Tops Update Retail Box. So there are 24 packs, 16 cards per pack. This was around $80 on Card Giants. It says look for exclusive Royal Blue Base Card Parallels. There are actually no odds on this. So we are going to see what kind of value this provides. I am super excited. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoy my content, please consider giving this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. We have been on such a roll with Update Baseball. I really hope that we can continue, hopefully hit something really, really nice today. Looking for a Julio parallel. All right. I messed that up, but that's all right. All right. So we have 24 total packs of 16 cards we're gonna get right into it we're gonna go through the base pretty quick we'll make a like a decent rookie pile um just to separate you know the the good rookies but we're gonna go through the base pretty quickly um just so you know for time's sake we're gonna hit the big rookies hopefully here we go say a suzuki that is my guy right there we got nick pavetta we got Eugenio Suarez, and we have a blue parallel in the back. Nice Bryson Stott. We have Jose Cisnero in our blue parallel, so that is our first blue. Nice Aaron Judge in our 87. And we have a Tim Anderson, stars of the MLB. So we'll set that to the side. So nothing too crazy starting out with a Seiya Suzuki. I did have a lot of good luck with this uh style product with 2021 update so hoping that uh we can continue uh hoping for an auto i mean i don't know what the odds are i kind of wish that we had the odds for this but we're just gonna have to go into this blind we have boston flex we have a cj abrams 87 and a jonathan india stars in the mlb i apologize if uh you know, I'm going through this pretty fast. Uh, if you would like to see me, uh, you know, be more detailed and go over some more of the base cards, then uh, you can watch my original blaster box opening as well as some of my hanger openings. We'll put the link to those videos in the description. But we're just going to hit the big rookies, kind of fly through the base. Here's Brandon Marsh. You know, just because there are 24 packs. We have Felix Bautista. Here's our first rainbow and it is obviously garcia i almost thought those were mariners colors we have jose altuve for our all-star game and max scherzer definitely looking for uh, some jeremy pena as well in here it's not just not just uh julio and bobby witt jeremy pena is the world series mvp so definitely huge like can you imagine being a rookie and winning the mvp in the world series like your rookie year that is insane there we go speak of the devil we have jeremy pena rookie debut it's andrew stevenson we have a nice ian hap all-star game so not too bad let me know what you think of update this year let me know how you've done i feel like i've done a lot better than i have uh, with this set than any other set in recent years this has been super super fun definitely here's a nice uh, 100 career home runs i definitely recommend uh getting hangers so far we'll see what this format uh gives us here's a nice steven kwan rookie definitely underrated had a real good season we have tyler wade we also got to be on the lookout for some short prints. Here's Brooks Robinson, Paragons of the Postseason. And then we have Mackenzie Gore 
for stars of the MLB. We'll set that right to the side. But like I was saying, hopefully we can hit an auto or some sort of real nice numbered uh, short print. That would be really, really cool. Usually here's a nice Bobby Witt Jr. Usually these boxes have a few numbered cards per box. Um, so we will see what we get. We have Tim LaCastro. Okay, we got a black and gold coming up here. And we have Raphael Devers. This is one of my favorite tops, like subsets, um, inserts, is the black and gold. It is a fantastic looking card. We got Bryson Stott on the back. All right, we're going to have to organize a little bit here. But the one good thing about, you know, uh, update is that there's actually, I believe there's 20 less cards um, than Series 1 and Series 2. I think Series 1 and 2 both had uh, like 350 card sets, if I'm not mistaken. So this being 330 definitely gives you a little bit better odds. Here's a nice Spencer Torkelson rookie debut. We have an Alex Bregman Major League Materials. Real nice looking card. So definitely not bad. And Aseya Suzuki stars the MLB. So we got our first hit. That is really cool. That's actually a yellow jersey. So Alex Bregman World Series champion. So we do have a nice little Major League Material. We're going to sleeve and top load this. All right. So we got our Alex Bregman up there on the stand. First major league material card that I have pulled from updates, so that's pretty cool. Definitely not too bad. Not too bad of a player to get a jersey of. And it's cool that it's a yellow jersey as well. These are all uh, flipped upside down. We're just going to keep moving through it. But yeah, to get a yellow jersey, that is pretty cool. We have O'Neill Cruz. In the tops chrome so that's a really really nice parallel i love the chrome version of this put him right in the middle and then another o'neill cruz and cj abrams these are okay but you really want the tops chrome uh stars of the mlb definitely a lot more um i would say a lot more collectible I definitely like them a lot better. We have Nestor Cortez, who was apparently like my doppelganger. Uh, I had so many people tell me that I look like Nestor Cortez, um, which is, you know, definitely not a bad thing. Nasty Nestor. All right, we have Alex Degatti, John Gray. Here's a nice Royce Lewis, 87. And then we have a Shohei Otani, all star game. Awesome looking card. It is amazing what Otani has done, you know, within just like the past two years, uh, you know, completely changed the game. Uh, a lot of people had written him off when he went down for an injury uh, and he wasn't playing super, super well, uh, like right before his injury. And people were, I remember people were actually calling him a bust. Uh, and now he's like one of the, you know, the greatest players of the generation. We have Nick Allen. Oh, this is nice. Tops Chrome stars of the MLB. Wow. Okay. And a Hunter Green Memorial Day camo. Wow. That is this is my first Memorial Day camo that I ever pulled in my whole entire life. This is a great looking card. Wow. So we got Hunter Green in the rookie debut. Look at that, Memorial Day camo, three out of 25. That is a fantastic card. That is such a cool card. I love the, uh, you know, the digital, digital camo. We'll uh, put our stars of the MLB Chrome, Bobby Witt Jr. in a sleeve and put him up on the stand. Wow, that Memorial Day camo looks so good. That is such a sweet card. Wow, okay, so <laughs> definitely already a pretty good box hitting that Memorial Day Hunter Green. Let's see if we can keep it up. Let's see what else we can hit. Here's a nice O'Neill Cruz rookie debut. 
Here's a Matt Brash. Thought this was gonna be Julio for a second. And then Corbin Burns. Um, so if you're actually, you know, wanting to complete a set, I definitely think this, one of these retail boxes would be pretty good value for, ooh. That's nice. I like that. I like the side of that. You know, it would it would be a pretty good value um, for the money. We're gonna we're gonna cruise through this real quick, just because we have still quite a few packs to go. Here is J Rod rookie debut, fantastic looking card. But so far, we've gotten a Memorial Day camo, which I will never complain. Getting a Memorial Day. Ace is up. Who do we got? It's an Angel. Oh, Ryan Tapera. I was hoping it was like Mike Trout, but that is all right. We have a red foil board, Ryan Tapera to $2.99. I'm gonna get this sleeved and top loaded. So, so far, this is really, this really seems like a pretty good format. Um, you know, 80 bucks for a whole box is definitely not too bad. Here's Spencer Torkelson. We got another one of those. Um, you know, pulling some pretty low numbered cards so far. We have Ryan Pepiat. Here's a nice Seiya Suzuki. Little landscape action right there. We have Jake Walsh, Zach Davies. Here's Ryan Sandberg, one of the diamond die cuts. I'm not a huge fan of the diamond die cuts, but, and then nice Spencer Torkelson. But, you know, some people really enjoy them. Let me know if you enjoy the diamond die cuts. So it looks like we still have, uh, we still have quite a few packs left. So definitely still quite a few chances to pull some nice rookie parallels. We have Sergio, Drew. I'm not even gonna, not even gonna attempt to pronounce that, especially with it being upside down. Orlando Arcia. James Norwood, here's an Edward Cabrera, Generation Now. Also not a huge fan of the Generation Now, but let me know what you think. I think they look pretty decent in a parallel, but just not sold, not completely sold on the design. All right, Stephen Kwan. I'm just gonna keep, I'm just gonna keep flipping them. Every time I flip them, it seems like they go the other way. Here's another Bobby Witt Jr. rookie debut. We have a Topps Chrome Alec Thomas, definitely not too bad. And then a Vladdy Guerrero Jr. in the All-Star game. And then a Vidal Bruhan, stars of the MLB. So I'm just hoping I'm just hoping that we can get a position player parallel. Don't get me wrong, I love my pitchers, but uh that's a really cool shot. That's like one of my favorite shots. Uh, they do have a Julio Rodriguez short print where he's getting like the Gatorade bath. So that is pretty cool. We have Shane McClanahan and Royce Lewis. All right, it looks like we have six packs left. I'm really gonna try to keep it moving. So this video is not crazy long. I really wanted to give you guys an idea of what this retail box can entail, what you might be able to expect. But Reed Detmers, all right. Looks like we have a parallel here. Is that a 499? This is gonna be a veteran. It's gonna be a veteran pitcher. Craig Kimbrell. <laughs> I knew it, I called it. And a Bryson, oh, Bryson Stott in the 87. Put him over there. So we have a Craig Kimbrell green foil board go ahead and sleeve and top load mr kimbrell he was on my cubs so all right so we're filling up the stand pretty good <laughs> i told you the the pitchers it looks like it's a pitcher parallel kind of day but i you know you really can't complain i'm here i'm opening tops update uh there's eggnog on the shelves i can't i have i have nothing to complain about this is so much fun we have a Nick Lodolo. So far, haven't seen a short print. Here's a Julio base rookie. Awesome looking card right there. Another Nick Lodolo in the 87. And Ryan Mountcastle, actually one of my favorite players. Uh, I like Mountcastle. I hope the Orioles can, uh, hope they can do some damage next year. Hopefully they can get into the postseason. 
you know, I like uh, I like rooting for the underdogs. You know, as you can tell, I'm a Cubs fan. I know I'm wearing a Mike Trout jersey, but Trout was one of my favorite players. Um, but, you know, it's always great to see. I mean, even like Philadelphia coming into the World Series, no one really expected it. So that was that was pretty fun to see them. All right, we got a rainbow foil, Sean Doolittle. And Javier Baez. All right, looks like we got like five packs left. Can we hit something crazy? All right, here we go. Hunter Dozier starting us off. CJ Abrams. As soon as I flip it around, I guarantee you there's going to be another run of upside down cards. Nope. Infield crew. Hanser Alberto and another Reed Detmers. All right, so nothing in that pack. I'm actually contemplating on getting another one of these just because, I mean, it seems like it's it's a pretty decent value overall. Um, quite a bit of numbered cards. Um, it would be sick to see an auto, but I don't know what the auto odds are for these retail boxes. Anthony Bass in the blue. And we have Ken Griffey Jr. So not too, too bad. Corey Seager for the All-Star Game. Completing my All-Star Game set. And then a nice Julio Rodriguez. All right, we are coming down to the wire. Overall, I would say I'm pretty happy with this box overall. We got a nice Jeremy Pena base rookie. I think we did pretty decent for ourselves. You know, not any crazy parallels, but the parallels were there. So definitely not complaining about that at all. We have a CJ Abrams tops black and gold. We will definitely take it. And then a Tony Gonsolin. And then Anthony Rizzo is our stars of the MLB. Really nice looking CJ Abrams black and gold. All right, we are down to our last two packs. Thank you so much for sticking with me. If you're still here, I really, really appreciate it. If you enjoy my content, if you like my channel, please consider subscribing. I really enjoy making these videos, doing reviews, helping you guys see what the value is in these products. We have the one last dance. This might be one of our very last parallels. What do we have here? A Nick Whitgreen. I'm telling you, this is this is the pitcher box right here. I think I I think I got like every every possible parallel that you could get, and they're all pitchers. But definitely not not too too bad. Nick Whitgreen. We got one last pack right here. We'll put Nick Whitgreen over here. Yeah, I honestly thought there was gonna be like a few more gold parallels, but I mean, there, there are 24 packs per box, so we will see if we can hit some last pack magic. We got Mackenzie Gore starting us off. Jack Sawinski. Actually, Jack Sawinski has, he has some potential, I think. And another Alec Thomas, Sonny Gray. Or are we going to see a short print? All right, we got a backwards card. We got a backwards card. Let's go, let's go really slow. It's a Blue Jay. <sighs> it's Gosuke or Gosuke Kato. So, not bad. Ending it off with a, another gold out of 2022. We will take it. Let me get cleaned up real quick and we will recap. All right, everyone, let's recap really quick. We pretty much hit every single one of the big rookies, so that was pretty nice. Um, so like I said, if you're trying to complete a set, this definitely seems like a pretty decent product. We hit three rainbow foils from the whole box, two tops, black and gold, really, really nice looking cards. And then we got three chrome stars of the MLB, which is actually pretty nice. That real nice Bobby Witt Jr. there going into my PC. We hit two of the uh, retail blue borders, of course, <laughs> two pitchers, and then one gold out of 2022, Nick Whitgren. 
are Gosuke Kato, rookie out of 2022. And here's some of the bigger hitters. We got a Craig Kimbrell out of 499, Ryan Tapera out of 299, a Hunter Green out of 25 Memorial Day parallel, and then a Alex Bregman, major league material. Overall, I really think that the potential is there for this to be a really, really decent format um, of a retail product. Let me know what you guys think in the comment, but I definitely think that this would be worth at least buying to try out and see what you get. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy my content, please consider liking and subscribing. We're going to keep growing, keep making videos, and until next time, we'll see you later.